kulingana na katiba ya elfu mbili na kumi katiba ya elfu mbili na kumi the constitution of Kenya article 45 is it article 45 there is a question of family who is king? yes and any other person and I want to quote kenye katiba inasema hini katiba ya Kenya the family is the is the natural and fundamental unit of a society and the and the necessary basic of social order and shall enjoy the recognition and protection of the state una unasikia hiyo kisungu uangwana na article 2 ndio wacha nisome muelewe zaidi every adult adult ni mtu wa 18 ikiendelea <laughs> has the right to marry a person of opposite sex based on free consent of the parties muna sikia hiyo kisungu very good very good very good shika hii information <laughs> So 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 on question of mutu kuoa wewe sasa wewe unanifuata wewe ni mwanaume ati unakatia mwanaume mwenzako unataka kuoa it is illegal in Kenya according to Kenyan constitution and it's written there in black and white na nimewasomea hapa to ruling ya supreme court five judges ndio walika chini watatu wakasema ya kwamba wakukubaliana na katiba ya Kenya kwamba wewe kama mwanaume na wewe kama mwanaume amwezi yoana ijapokuwa na muisome si na wasomea muisome nyinyi pia mdini ijapokuwa au watu wao watu wa kunini ku, wenye wako na hiyo mambo ingine hiyo hiyo mambo ya ku, ku, kutamani wanaume na weni ni mwanaume ama kutamani wanawake na weni ni wanawake wako na uhuru ya kutengeneza kitu inaitwa association yao na they can they are free to open their foundation kwa sababu vile walienda kwa hizo ma e, nini za serikali waliambiwa kwamba e, because why mnaulizwa what is your objective ya kufungua hii kitu wao wanasema sisi tunataka dinyana wanaume kwa wanaume wao wa, wanajibiwa kwamba hiyo ni against sheria jaji mwenye alisema hiyo kitu ilikuwa jaji joki ndumu jaji hii 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 yenye inatokanga hii hii mkamba hii Filomena Mwilu na kulikuwa na jaji hii inaitwa anga wanjala smoking au mtu tatu waliamua kwamba au watu wako na uhuru wa kukaa pamoja na kuamua mwenendo zao lakini hakuna sheria yeyote ama the court precedent ilisema ya kwamba sasa wewe anza kuoa Hakuna popote na kama iko mtu atanisimamisha hapa anionyeshe pali iliandikwa ama hiyo judgment ilisema Sijaanza hata bwana hata hizi vitu sijaidini mheshimiwa Nikikumbe shika hii kwa sababu si za discuss Mheshimiwa wacha nini ni wacha niseme jambo jambo jingine Mambo yenye bwana Kimu umesema hapa na watu wengine Shida yenye tuko nayo hapa Kenya ni kwamba hakuna culture yoyote hii Kenya 
imekubaliana mambo ya usagaji mimi ni mjaluo kwa lugha yangu hakuna hiyo mambo kwa lugha yangu homosexual hiyo ingine inasema aje lesbianism na hiyo mambo ingine hakuna hiyo maneno kwa lugha yetu nikianza kuongea lugha yetu that means it's not my culture it's not coming from my society it's not coming from from my clan to say the least so this thing is something which has been imported so mtu hawezi sema ni mambo ya kupenda kwake ama ni mambo ya uh, sijui maisha ndio imefanya ati umejipata tu wewe umependanga wanaume it's not true the truth is kuna watu wamekuja na pesa hii Kenya sasa wanakuja hapo wanaangalia wanaona uko na shida kidogo kidogo unachukuliwa Unaenda kuna swabu wa matako huko nini? Hizo <laughs> <laughs> mabeze zao. Alafu unalipwa pesa kidogo. So utakuwa una swabu tu na swabu tu. Ukienda Westland utapata mwanaume amepaka hapo na sijui amevaa nini. Mwanaume unaona tu ni mtu ako na akili zake. But amevaa hizo vitu. Unapata kama wako na hiyo bandera zao. Ingine huwa naona town. So Mr. Speaker niki finalize because hujanipatia wakati ya kudiscuss hiyo kudiscuss hiyo topics hizo zingine ni kwamba these people sheria atujapata ya kuwa punish <laughs> This thing is not in penal code na I believe even the, the government even the parliament wameamua kutoweka hiyo kitu kwa penal code intentionally. Ndio maana bwana Kimu nasema au wakubwa wa bunge hawa you can write a petition to the parliament with a serious penal code. Kama mtu amepatikana maybe auawe kama ina ina hizi nini? Awawe because ke, nini, uh, hanging death, death by hanging is in our penal codes for example nataka kujibu bwana Kim nipatie dakika moja tafadhali kwa mambo mambo fulani amesema hapa bwana Ruto na Uru Kinyata tunawalaumu ukiangalia Zimbabwe na ukiangalia Uganda Zimbabwe aliyekuwa rais <coughs> Bwana Mugabe alisema kama wewe ni mwanaume na nimepata uko na uhusiano ya kimapenzi na mwanaume mwingine Mimi kazi yenye nitakupatia ni munilete mtoto yenye mmezao wawili <laughs> na nitawawachilia Na kama iko mtakufa Mugabe was clear on that Bwana Mseveni Rais wa Uganda hivi sasa na na mniku Sam kuna swali Si ni nuku huyo jamaa kwanza Uliza ba soleza Thank you Mr Speaker I just want to know according to your argument are you protecting what is your stand for Just listen Uh, what I'm what I'm saying is this. Uh, uh, what I'm asking is this. According to according to your argument, how did the court identify these people? Because according to us, what to Najua our what they exist because of their deeds. After all, they are just human beings. They, their deeds makes us, makes us to identify these people. So how did the court identify these people? <laughs> Ile kitu tunasema ni kwamba how did the court identify these people and maybe you can explain to us what association means. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you our member.
Wewe yeah. mtu wa kupiga kelele kuongea hapa ndani ni ngumu. Uh, thank you my, my member. Our member member of the bungi. Uh, Uganda. Na nisikize kwa makini. Why I'm blaping Ruto? The president of Uganda was also categorical on that question. There is no way wewe kama mwanamke wewe mwanamke mwenzako ndio unatamani na mwanaume na akasema ya kwamba yeye ameweka sheria kwamba kama uwezi fuata hiyo sheria ya kuoa the opposite sex ni mambo ya kifo sio mambo ingine hii ya katikati what nikisikia bwana Ruto na bwana Uhuru Ruto akiwa CNN Uhuru akiongea na Obama akiwa State House hapa Nairobi. A media lady alimuuliza huyu media mwenye alikwanga citizen. Alimuuliza mambo ya gayism. Alisema that is not our concern today. We can discuss it later. Akiongelea huyu Ruto akiongea na CNN I think uh, Amarpu ndiye alikuwa na na, na muoji, alisema that is not concerned ya Kenya saa hii. Hiyo mambo tunaweza ongelea. They are giving a floodgate. Ya mambo kuongelea vile mnaongelea saa hii alafu ipitishwe. Ana msimamo ya hiyo kitu kwamba amekataa. Ameweka mguu mmoja huku kwa sababu wananchi hawaitaki, alafu mguu mmoja huku kwa sababu wazungu ndio walimuingiza kwa kiti. So bwana Ruto lazima alaumiwe kwa sababu hii kitu ikiingia Kenya. Hakuna mtu mwingine si ati atakuwa ko lucky. Maybe mtoto wake ama nini wake ama mjuku wake ndiye atakuwa kwa hizo vitu. I'm very categorical on that. On your, your response yenye hiyo umeuliza hiyo. Sasa nisijibu hiyo. Thank you. Au amekataa nisijibu. Ah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>